All of these Migos say impossible. I'm Migos. My name is Taff316. It is week 53? Is it 53 or 54? I already forgot. It's 53 of reading your comments. But it technically fit week 54, but it's episode 53. Because last week doesn't count because it was a one year special. So it's episode 53, but week 54. It's also Thursday, so let's read some comments. It was something there to have some hotel chocolate. It's a shame the nearest store isn't within walking distance. I don't have any in the house. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Damn it. But you don't deserve any. Joke's on you. I bought some. I've literally been watching your YouTube channel since the Coronation Street video. That's a long time. Uh, and I still can't actually understand what you say in the intro. Uh, I've explained it countless times, but I suppose what's one more time. So the intro is Hola, mis amigos. Hello, my friends in Spanish. Uh... Um, amigos referring to male friends and possible amigas referring amigas referring to female friends and my name is Taffrey 16. I made that up as a joke because I remember once like three years ago I checked my channel analytics and it said my audience was like 90% male um, so you know it's I, so it's saying I know for sure I have male viewers and then possible female viewers and even still it's now it's like 72% male viewers. It's gone it's gone up a bit in female viewers, but it's still majority male. If you had a swear jar for this video only, you'd be able to pay the Vimeo bill. I'm impressed. Yeah, well, swear jar, huh? It's not a bad idea. I do have a savings account. I guess that's close enough. Victoria Cohen Mitchell uh, won $500,000 in September of 06 when she won the main event of the European Poker Tour, and her tournament winnings were over $22,400,000, dollars Well, damn, I guess she is pretty good at poker. Rain so much in the UK, my hometown flooded over the last few, few weeks. Uh, thankfully, I live in a hill, so my house escaped it, but the roads were underwater. That's rain, dude. Yeah, it's actually raining hardcore right now. As I'm recording this, I'm looking outside. It's some of the most hardcore rain we've had all year. It's fucking awesome. This basically means you can post whatever the fuck you like now on Vimeo, right? Right. We're good now, as far as that situation. It's over, I paid the meal. It's, it's done. Um, I still have a limit a week, but like before, I could only upload up to 5 gigabytes a week, and now it's 20 gigabytes a week, which is more than enough, so yeah, we're chilling. Read 364 comments. Maybe I have over the course of the entirety of the comments videos. So if you go back and watch all the comments videos, and I guess technically I did. There's a Nickelodeon run channel here in the UK that airs Peppa Pig 24-7 and nothing else. Is that show really that popular? Jesus Christ. Chewing the fat would be good for New Year's Eve because that's when it usually comes on. I have something planned for New Year's Eve. It's not that, but trust me, when you see it, it's gonna make sense. Glad you got around to doing Gavin and Stacey, dude. I realize it's not everyone's favorite. But I think it's actually pretty well done, some great actors. If you plan on doing more, I wouldn't skip to the Xmas episode, as you would miss a lot. Yeah, I've decided on that. People, the consensus has been, don't skip the Christmas episode, because you'll miss too much. It's a series to be watched in order. And the first episode did, I think, well enough to warrant a sequel in the future. The reason you know Uncle Byron is he is Rob Brydon uh, from Would I Lie to You? Uh, yeah, I figured that out later, because I was watching, I'm like, damn, this guy looks really fucking familiar. Like, familiar to the point where I've seen him recently. Oh yeah, I saw him Would I Lie to You. That makes sense. That video is done. It's still going, by the way. That video's at 50,000 views now. The Would I Lie to You video. That one's done incredibly well. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that one. One of my favorite sitcoms. A lot of feel-good moments, genuinely funny moments, and moving scenes in Gavin and Stacey. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the show's nostalgic for me. It's been almost 13 years since the first episode. Time flies. Yeah, now they're doing a Christmas special 10 years after the first episode. Or 10 years after the last episode. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, they, I mean, I, I, I didn't even only really see one episode of the show, and that's still crazy. 13 years since it started, 10 years since the last episode. Hopefully they don't botch the Christmas special. I believe KFC is better in the UK than the USA. I'd imagine. KFC is shit here. I mean, I'm sure some Americans would disagree with me, but personally, I, I think it's shit. You've seen Sherlock. Uh, that's probably why the music scene sounds so familiar. Which Sherlock? The older Sherlock? New Sherlock show? The movies of Robert Downey Jr.? All of them? So to paint the horse Tass and Taskmaster, I would have interpreted that as physically painting the actual horse. Yeah, that doesn't sound nice to the horse, but I don't know. Pink horse sounds cool, I guess. Don't remember this being censored on TV. Uh, well, I guess it was pre-Watershed repeat. It wasn't. Um, they recently, like I said at the beginning of the Taskmaster reaction, they recently uploaded the entire first series um, to YouTube, but they censored it. So, I guess because of modernization issues or whatever. However, 
It's worth noting that uh, one of my viewers sent me pretty much the rest of the first series uh, in my drive folder recently. So, if I do end up doing more of the first series, uh, those next episodes will be uncensored. They just sold Taskmaster here in the UK to Channel 4, so Series 10 is due mid-2020 sometime, and it'll be on Network TV. Well deserved Series funny. Well, yeah, good for them. I'm glad they got on Network TV. I just hope that doesn't affect me in terms of the copyright maybe changing to Channel 4. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't affect anything. Tim Key ended up working on the show as a task developer after Series 1. Really, the guy who cheated on all the tasks <laughs> ended up developing them. That's an ironic twist of fate. I just realized I have headphones in and I don't need them in. There's, there's literally no reason for these to be in. They've been in my head, the, in my ears the entire time. And just now I'm like, why do I have these in? I don't know. I think you should react to a whole series of Taskmaster? Plays what this comment was from. Well, like I said, I have the rest of the first series, so it's possible. Remember, pissed means drunk over here, but we do say pissed off for angry. For example, that guy looks pissed would mean he looks drunk. The guy looks pissed off meaning he looks angry. Yeah, we don't use that for drunk over here. If you, got, if you say over here, if you say a guy looks pissed, that means pissed off, but good to know the difference. More still game? Yes, there will be a Christmas special this month. It's a coming. Can't find full episodes of Taskmaster on YouTube. I don't anywhere. Just go to the official... Taskmaster YouTube channel, like I literally said at the beginning of that video. I, I said that. A whole year of comments and fascinating insight into the various stages of hair growth. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the most interesting part of the video. <laughs> but that's basically how my hair goes. It goes it goes longer, 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 and I shave it, then longer, 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 shave it. Same thing every time. We don't deserve a year of reading comments. You're right, you don't. You deserve two years. See you in next year's two year special. If anything's the other way around, Irish hate the British, or to be more specific, the English, uh, at least some of them do, uh, as well as the Scots and the Welsh. Yeah, no kidding, I watched fucking Eurovision results recently. The United Kingdom not do well in <laughs> the voting, they got like three points. If you ever react to an episode of Black Mirror or The Twilight Zone? Hmm. Well, I'd like to see more Charlie Brooker stuff, so maybe Black Mirror. I've seen The Twilight Zone before, um, but... Yeah, maybe. Those are definitely, definitely Vimeo videos, but I wouldn't rule it out. Breaking news, shoppers and Audi are fighting over a Kevin the Carrot toy. I'm be right in there with them. You kidding me? You ain't taking my Kevin away. I do miss Kitty. So do I. Uh, it was weird watching back for each episode of reading your comments and realizing that I remember most of them. Lots of fun, though. Glad you do, because I don't. <laughs> that was a trip down memory lane for me, but to be fair, I make videos every day. I make so much fucking content that I'm bound to remember a lot of it. Or I'm bound to forget a lot of it, I should say. And I do. So you usually like lists of things to react to. Rising Damp, One Foot in the Grave, Game On, Fault of Towers, I don't um, Burl if ever keeping up appearances. Okay, so I have a reaction folder on my, cha on my uh, computer that currently has 378 videos in it. Um, and I'm not entirely sure everything that's in there. So let's see if everything you said is in there. Rising Damp is in there. Yes. One foot in a grave is in there. Yes. Game On is in there. Yes. Faulty Towers is in there. Yes. Alo Alo is in there. Yes. Birds of Feather? No? Doesn't look like it, no. Okay, no. No, no bird of a feather. Uh, keeping appearances, yes. So I have almost everything. You have to buy a new t-shirt for each read in your comments or are you secretly sponsored by a t-shirt company? I just have a lot of shirts. Like I own more t-shirts than anything. Like I, I have like one drawer of pants, one drawer of underwear, one drawer of socks, and like three drawers of t-shirts. Hiya! Two episode documentary series is made by BBC Studios, an independent uh, production arm for channel for UK's Channel 5. It's entitled Chocolate Dreams in Inside Hotel Chocolate. Well, Channel 5 finally did something good. I'll give them credit. Personally, I think Will's Outburst was 100% justified. And... and, and and Gary Glitter, super nonce and best mates with Jimmy Savile. Oh yeah, I know. I'm well aware. At least he got prison time and didn't get off it like Savile did by, you know, dying. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not really relevant. Is it? <laughs> God damn it, Will. Love the level of anxiety it induces in you. I just cringe easily, bro. Like, I really do. I can't handle the cringe. When it, you probably noticed 
when I react to stuff like in between and peep show, but I have a very hard time handling cringe. By the way, will there be a bottom episode two? There's already a reaction video online of three snobby Americans. Hmm, don't know who that is. Uh, but since you have a sense of humor, <laughs> you would do a way better job with that episode. Um, well, I'm going to be doing a Christmas special this month, that's confirmed. So yes, there will be a bottom two. Keep fresh in mind until you watch it again that Will is smaller than the average dude, so carries around normal size. Yes and no. You're right and you're wrong. Will is... I think the actor who plays him is like 5'5", five five, which is... I, I don't know what average male height and average female height is in the UK. Here in the US, average male height is 5'9", and average female height is 5'5". Five five. Simon Bird is 5'5", five five, so he would be average female height, but much shorter than average male height. Uh, Carrie, on the other hand, the actress who plays her, is like 5'11", 6 foot. So, while yes, Will is short, she is also tall. I always felt this was among the most awkward and painful episodes. I wonder if the show off is meant to have a misogynistic subtext. I think it's just the perfect uh, encapsulation of, of what makes the show so great. It's, it's, it's such a great encapsulation of how shit is as a teenager, you know? Like, a, like, it's the most awkward time of your life when you're in high school or whatever the UK equivalent of high school is. Or, you, you know, you're just growing up, going for puberty, stuff like that. It is by far the most awkward time of your life. And I think the show just encapsulates it perfectly. This episode of Five Ten is a classic. I love this and the Milkman episode. The Milkman episode. Do not believe I have seen that, but maybe we'll make that next. Every time I find myself in a laundry section of the store, I think of this. Something similar happened to me once. I was in... Akahara in Tokyo and in, was browsing electronics and electronics stores for discount and DVDs. I found, uh, what the fuck is that out there? What the hell are you doing in the rain, lady? Go inside. Um, I found one shop that had cheap videos on the first level and the sign seemed to say that there were DVDs on floors five, f four, five, and six. So I hopped in the escalator to go up. I passed some floors of the household equipment and, like, and like and got to floor four perhaps the type of uh, clientele should have warned me all men uh i was great at the top of the escalator with a tv showing hard porn <laughs> all the pictures around the escalator were of various women in states of undress and the escalators only went up i clung the escalator rail hoping the next floor wouldn't be porn but it was and the next, and the horror of all horrors, it was the last floor. No more escalators, so I had to get off and roam the level desperately looking for a way down. I saw a green exit sign and went in that direction, but I could see no exit. I tried uh, a door hoping it would lead some stairs and found myself in the men's toilets. Uh, the way down and out was eventually found. After this debacle, I decided not to do any more DVD hunting. <laughs> Thank God they have Netflix now. I don't remember the laugh track being quite so intrusive. I didn't do anything to it. It was just how it was, man. It'd be funny. It's that's funny because that seems like something people would fucking blame me for. How dare you edit the laugh track? You son of a bitch! Larry Duff actually survives. He's basically the South Park Kenny of the show. Whenever Ted rings him, Larry's in the middle of something that's interrupted and results in a fatal ordeal for him. Uh, there's a compilation video on YouTube of Larry's Misfortune. Check it out. Really? Okay. I don't think I had seen that gag in the previous three episodes I had watched. Not to my remembrance, at least. But poor Larry. I hope he gets his life together. Great timing. In other news today, Gerald McSorley, who's Todd and Bob Ted, has a warrant out for his arrest. Well... At least you can't say he's not committed to the character. Medically speaking, you suffer from insomnia. Perhaps, uh, or people just think that insomnia means you can't sleep, but medically speaking, it takes longer than 30 minutes long, uh, to go to sleep, uh, which is the same for me. It's considered insomnia. Really? Okay. I mean, I, it used to be worse. It used to take me like one or two hours to get to sleep. It's not that bad anymore, but yeah, I guess that makes sense. Taff reacts. Christmas? Adverbs. British? Yes. Hotel? Shock lot. <laughs> Oh, hell, Hotel shock a lot. You should do the Vicar of Dibley at a Christmas lunch incident. I did last year. It was the only Vicar of Dibley episode I've done. However, uh, apparently there's another Vicar of Dibley Christmas special, so I wouldn't mind considering that for this month. You did it again. You missed the final scene. You shut it off too early. There's always a final epilogue mini scene after the final credits. Again, you shut it off too soon. You missed it. You think I missed it? Ah, uh, look. And the copy that I had of the episode that I downloaded off Daily Motion, uh, that wasn't in there. 
I didn't skip it. I looked at the end to make sure there wasn't a credit scene. There wasn't in the copy I had. So sorry if I missed it, but it wasn't in there. Doesn't that Christmas hat that you were wearing not make your head warm? Yes, it does make my head warm with Christmas cheer. Why are you drinking water from a flower vase? Doesn't everybody? All right, y'all, that's going to do it for a super-sized episode of Reading Your Comments. If you want a chance to get your comment read next week, just comment down below in the comment section. Usually, the comments, the best place to comment if you want to get featured next week's Reading Your Comments will be this video and the uh, next couple reaction videos uh, in between this one and next Reading Your Comments. So this one's a bit super-sized because I pulled this from the last two Reading Your Comments videos because last week's game wasn't a normal episode. It's a... Uh, anniversary special and then like the last four reaction videos in between those so this is pulled from four reaction videos and two reading your comments but that is going to do it for this week's episode i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching if you liked it be sure to like it if you didn't like it don't if you want to follow any of my social media links hmm excuse me uh my twitch where i stream every single day my second channel free steam views my twitter if you want to follow me my patreon if you want to support me on my vimeo all those things are in the description also in the description is linked to my schedule where you can see what's getting posted daily on the channel and as well as the community reddit if you want to join with all that being said, though, my name is Taffer's Team. It's been another episode of Reading Your Comments. See you guys next time. Bye.